Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and today I wanted to give you all a quick update on what's going on specifically with iOS 13. Now today, Apple actually released iOS 13.7, and this brings a pretty major feature to iOS 13. So let's get iOS 13.7 installed onto our iPhone SE and see what's new. Okay, so first off, before we get into the finer details of this specific update, this should be the last major version for iOS 13. I know I've said that in iOS 13.5 and ultimately about iOS 13.6, but due to what's going on in the world right now, I think that the development of iOS 13 just got a little bit messed up. Uh, seeing this many major versions of software in the future for iOS 14 is less than likely, so don't expect the same for next year. So anyways, with that being said, this should be the last major update before we see the official release of iOS 14, but do keep in mind that there might be smaller subsequent updates like iOS 13.7.1 and so forth that handle bugs and security patches. Without further ado, let's get into the finer details. Okay guys, so we have iOS 13.7 loaded up on our iPhone SE here, and we'll go to the about screen just to see exactly what is new in this specific menu. Software version, iOS 13.7, build number 17H35. Um, obviously we're on an iPhone SE, so if we go down here to modem firmware, it is going to be different from um, most of your modem firmware unless you have an iPhone SE. Uh, modem firmware is 1.06.00. Now this update was a fairly small one, so I'm not going to say that there are many new features or um, many things past the exposure notifications that I talked about previously. Um, what I did notice is that uh, exposure notifications seems to be the biggest aspect of this update. Now, there's likely a lot of stuff going on in the background, but exposure notifications was the main reason for this update, and which is why it was in a beta previously. So let's go ahead and check that out. Um, if you go down into the settings app, go all the way down into the second menu here into exposure notifications, you can now turn on exposure notifications. And uh, what this is called, for iOS 13.7 specifically is Exposure Notifications Express. And this means that you will not have to have an app. You can do it all through the Settings app. Um, now, right now, this feature is only available in, I believe, uh, Virginia, Nevada, Maryland, and um, Washington, DC, where you can actually use these. So if I go to Turn On Exposure Notifications, it has a brand new uh, kind of layout here for Exposure Notifications, um, very informative. You can also, how Exposure Notifications work, you can check that out as well. Um, that is basically a page that takes you and kind of guides you through how everything works and how Apple intends it to work. If we go ahead and tap on continue, you just select your country and or region. And uh, I have to go all the way down into the United States. And those states that I just listed are for obviously the United States. Um, if you guys are in a different country, you will have to check and see uh, exactly what state uh, will accept or what area will accept uh, exposure notifications from Apple. Now, if I go to, into California, exposure notifications are not currently available. We were expecting that. Um, but if I go down, let's go ahead and try to uh, um, access, um, what was one of the states? It was Nevada. So if I go to Nevada, your region has an exposure notification app. So I can open on the app store and I can see that specific app that will work in tandem, uh, with the, uh, uh, kind of tracing system that Apple has installed into iOS 13.7. And as you can see, um, I have COVID Trace Nevada that is here uh, listed in the App Store. Now let's go back here. I'm gonna go ahead, tap on done. And uh, basically, if I go ahead, install that app, it won't let me because I'm obviously GPS bound to California um, because that's where I am currently. But if I turn on exposure notifications and I have that app installed, everything will work in tandem. Um, so if you guys are in one of those states, you are lucky enough to go ahead and install this and get it up and running. Um, but if you are, do wait until uh, your state and or public health agency has something going for them in regards to exposure notifications so you can go ahead and test it out for yourself. Uh, but yeah, guys, that was the major kind of update in iOS 13.7. The reason Apple kind of released iOS 13.7 was specifically for exposure notifications. And this is a part of Google and Apple's collaboration to uh, push this program out and um, have the public health organizations in each state and each country kind of follow along 
with them. Um, but anyways, guys, so sorry that there's not much more to tell you, but this is actually pretty major simply because of the app that was released or the program that was released with iOS 13.7 given what's going on in the world today. Okay, so we did some testing on speed and performance. And uh, yeah, it looks like everything has pretty much remained the same since I was 13.5, nothing has really changed. Um, everything is running very smoothly and the battery life is super solid. So there's really not much to say when it comes to using iOS 13.7 versus some older versions of iOS 13. Now, one thing I did want to say is that currently on iOS 14 betas, the battery life has been a bit up and down. So if that's super important to you, then staying on iOS 13.6.1 or iOS 13.7 would be a really good idea until those bugs are found and fixed by Apple in some future betas and hopefully by the public release of iOS 14. So guys, with that said, that is the iOS 13.7 update. Very small one, but an update nonetheless. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please leave those in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you want to see more content in the near future, definitely get subscribed hit that like button and also hit that notification bell button to get updates when any new content is released. You can also check me out on Twitter at Jeff Updated and we have a new Instagram updated YT that you can check out as well. Also, one more thing to check out is the new updated podcast where I go more in depth into some tech topics we don't discuss here on the channel. That first episode I think will be live this coming Friday. But anyways, guys, I hope to see you in some future content and on some social media platforms sometime soon. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.